Can you see the word? Our word of the day, this morning our word of the day comes from, comes from John 3.16, probably the most famous verse in the Bible, the one that everyone knows. And it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. This is the verse of verses here. This is the verse that shows us so how much that God loved us all. That God didn't want us to perish. He didn't want us to be wiped out. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, to take on our burdens, to take on our sins, so that we would not perish and have everlasting life. And we praise that, that every day this earth, we should do that. And Deuteronomy 7, 9 says, therefore know that the Lord your God, he is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and mercy for thousands, for a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandments. We are to love. The two greatest commandments is to love God and to love people. And I know it's hard to love those who don't love us. But the word tells us what reward would we have if we only love those who love us. The word tells us we need to love those who persecute us, those who hate us, those who plot and scheme bad things against us those that persecute us every day and say bad things against us, that starts arguments and fights, we have to love them. The word tells us that. We just pray for them. When people are doing bad things against us and saying bad things, we can't take it personally. And we just can't be offended. I talked about this a couple of days ago. You know, they know not what they do. Just like Jesus said when he was hanging on the cross, saving us because he loved us so much. He was there hanging. And he, his words were, do not, Lord, forgive them, but they know not what they do. That's the great unconditional love that God has for us. And that's the great and unconditional love that we need to seek to have for everyone even the Lord himself. Praise the Lord. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and it says, though I speak with the tongue of men, though I speak with the tongue of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And although I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but I have not love, I am nothing. Amen. And though I bestow all my goods to the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but I have not love. It profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, it is not puffed up. Does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Amen. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fares, but wherever there is prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. 
For we know in part, and we prophesy prophecy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, then that we is in part will be done away. Then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child. I thought as a child, when I, when I became a man or woman, I put away childish things. But now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I also am known. And now abide in hope. <laughs> and now abide in faith, hope, love. These three. But the greatest of these is love. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, I know sometimes it's hard to, to love those that, that persecute you. God knows that as well. And we just cry out to him when we have these issues, the things that are going on, and, and we just Ask the Lord, Lord, I'm trying to love this person and I'm trying to do what you would do, but I need your help to do it. And that's the answer. We of ourselves can do none of these things because we have flesh and the flesh rises up and it's hard to love those that are doing mean things to us. Or plotting things or, you know, saying things. It's hard. And I understand that. God understands that. But that's where we abide in faith, hope, and love. We have to have the faith to know that God knows and sees everything, that he will take care of everything. Praise the Lord for that. And we continue to be able to just love them no matter what. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we just thank you for this word of the day. And um, Lord, we, do, we of ourselves can do nothing. And so if we need to like love those that doing mean things to us or plotting or whatever it is, persecuting us, we need your help to help us to just love. And when we love, the person will change because you will change their hearts and you will Fill them with your spirit, and you will heal us as well. But I lift up the entire flock here today, and I lift up those that will hear this in the future, that the word tells us to love God and love people, and that's what it all comes down to. So I pray you bless everyone today, that you give everyone a blessed Sabbath day of rest today on your wonderful Sabbath day. I pray you lift up and lift every burden. Your burden word tells us on the Sabbath day, we're not supposed to stress or worry about anything, that this is a holy day to you. We're supposed to be calm and relaxed and have comfort and peace today. And so I speak that right now in the blood and stripes of Jesus Christ, that those that are hurting or in pain, that you heal their bodies right now from the top of their heads to the sole of their feet. Those who are dealing with issues in their lives, that you take those issues away and you give them comfort and peace today, and you bless everyone on this holy, blessed Sabbath day today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you all, and have a wonderful day today. Amen. <laughs>